Christian K once again Rossi very very strong on the brakes and he just won't leave any sort of gap for Marquez to find his way through over the line they go nine classic laps left here in Assen further down the field we've lost Eugene Laverty on the field in each front start right well, okay there is Laverty chasing what would have been a four successive point scoring finish winner of the World Series more place and World Superbikes here Frank Green is on his feet back down and turning number 11 that's the end of the corner back on the front this is the screw but still Valentino Rossi leads the way Mark Marquez hasn't as yet shown Rossi a wheel not shown his hand just yet he is some stage actually. He's Mark Marquez. He just is just it's just not in his genes. At some point he's gonna have to go. But you would imagine the way Ross is riding when he does, he's gonna take a big risk. I think he's right down it to put. He absolutely thought about it. And he's very, very clutch this time round as well. Is he gonna make a move for the first time in the race? We ride with Ross right in his face. Number 93. But it's not close enough once again as they come down to the bottom end of the circuit and the man corner. This is as smooth as controlled. I've seen Mark Marquez ride for a long, long time. We know he's reverted back to the 2014 chassis here this weekend. That factory RC213 V. It's a hybrid motorcycle now. 2015 engine, 2015 speed up with last year's frame. Just to try and get some of the feeling and confidence back that Marquez lost. We're going to lap this this year's frame. He said he could be much more precise with this year's bike. There's no room for error. He's not made a mistake so far. He's not looked like he's going to run into the back of Rossi like we've seen him make mistakes before this year. Not close enough down into the first corner. Eight laps to go. Still Rossi leading the way. Bradford there turns two, three and four. It's difficult right hand and through the chicane is a very, very different story in this pack. You know he crunched slow, Paul Aspargo, the big sense of Smith, Pedroza, a late Aspargo, Dan Adam, Drucci and Maverick Mignoli. And at the front, Rossi or Marquez, it's the clash of the season. Andrea Di Vizioso is now dropped behind Paul Aspargo. The Tech 3 Yamaha rider getting a second win. Danny Pedrosa got up to that group pretty quickly in ninth place, but he's not been able to pick his way through to the front of the pack. Oh, he's four tenths of a second clear on Paul Espargo now in fifth place. Here is Valentino Rossi trying to win the MotoGP race from pole position for the first time in six years, all the way back to 2009 on home soil in Mazzano. was when he last won a race from pole position. That's what Maradona was there to support uh, him. I think though. it probably was. This is like two great boxes just slugging it out, isn't it? But 36 years old, 22 years old, but Rossi is riding a massive race at the front, but you just know Marquez cannot move resist one go at him. He said a podium finish would be fantastic after everything that's happened to us. Rossi could say, as long as he thinks he's in front of a way of red zone, that's all that matters. But there's a bit more to this than this. Here comes Marquez. Marquez up the inside. Mar Marquez leads for the first time. Can he make it stick? Rossi tries to fight back, but Marquez now leads the way. Start on draft 20. We wondered when Mar Marquez was going to show his hand. Well, there you go, on the breaking zone into the first corner. I was just going to say, as they crossed the line, the gap between Rossi and Marquez was down to just seven hundredths of a second. Marquez got brilliant drive out of the final chicane. He pulled out of Rossi's slips to on the brakes into the first corner. Now, can Valentino Rossi respond? This is the first time we've seen Marquez make the running at the front. Six and a half laps to go. We ride with Rossi, Marquez at the front, down in the second bar corner. Rossi not quite close enough. It was short, straight, running over the curve and then into the left hander of Jabal. Rossi closing all the time. Rossi is so, so strong through this fourth sector, but brilliant manoeuvre by Marquez. He knew that he couldn't take Rossi in the chicane, but he lined him up beautifully coming out of the chicane. And he just has the pace, but back at the front. Rossi closing all the time. These next two laps are going to tell us an awful, awful lot. That's just the tiniest of mistakes by Valentino Rossi coming out of the final chicane. He just cut over the AstroTurf on the inside of the
the kerb. He would have just lost crucial drive as he came out of the straight. Here we are, this is on the last lap where Valentino Rossi just made a fraction of a mistake. That was all Mark Marquez needed to sweep by on the brakes down into this half lock corner, down to the first corner. Mark Marquez now just putting about what six or seven bike lengths between himself and Valentino Rossi. Rossi tours it all the way back though through the Medaille second corner. This race not over by any stretch of the imagination. Rossi the pressure they come down to the Struben. Through the Struben corner they come onto the mid slab. The most famous bends in the old days, that banked hairpin. And they're doing it proud, aren't they? Marquez and Marty, the world champion and the championship leader. On board with Valentino Rossi. 30 years of anniversary of on board cameras here at Atom. Freddie Spencer and Randy Mamola. He is not letting it get away. This is down at the default corner. Valentino Rossi now going to the back wheel of Mark Marquez. We're coming up to the fourth sector. Moomin Mia, Holger Heider and Rapture as we said before. Now this is where Valentino Rossi has been really strong all throughout the weekend. He can almost reach out and touch Marquez's back wheel. Great on board shots here. It's Repsol Honda versus Moomstar Yamaha. Marquez versus Rossi. And through the left hander. Rossi fights for it, Marquez turns that little bit in front as they come to the chicane. Rossi can't come from that far back. Little bit of a wiggle of the rear wheel though from the Repsol Honda of Marquez as he breaks for the chicane. Over the line they go, five laps to go. Just a tenth of a second separating. And into turn one. This is where they took the lead, Mark Marquez, from Rossi a couple of laps ago. The lonely old rival, Jorge Lorenzo, in third place. And Andre, you know, the equally lonely rider, riding for him in fourth. And there's this big group battling for fifth place. He's still Cal Crutchlow that leads the way from Las Marga. Petros is seventh, the Vincioso, eighth, Bradley Smith, ninth, and the latest Margaro in tenth place. Back with the leading duo, Martin Marquez and Valentino Rossi. What a duel it's been so far here in Assen. Nothing between the lap times, previous lap. 133, 617. That's why I had this best lap on the right to just a tenth of a second or less quicker than Valentino Rossi. The last lap, hardly anything between the other game. And as you can see, the last lap, nothing between their best laps on the right so far. Rossi's last lap, absolutely flying. That Amanda Van Grieger's loop, there is four and a half laps to go. Rossi will close up through this fourth sector. He's done it absolutely every single time when he's been behind him and has opened up a bit of advantage when he's been in front of him. They race through Holger Heider and now up to the left-hander of Rossi. Is Rossi close enough? We ride with Rossi. Is he lining him up at the chicane on the break? No way he was going to get from that time. Marquez and Rossi over the line now. You can hear feel the tension in the grandstands. Just over a tenth of a second splitting the two of them. Now this is the phase of the race last year where the Honda had the advantage. When it came down to the last three or four laps, the Honda had kept the better grip. Now that was where Yamaha really worked on during the winter. Martina Rossi talked about the new chassis this weekend giving him better grip, particularly after 20 laps. And Rossi not being dropped off at all. So this new chassis, better for agility and also better for tyre and jewellery. Back to the beats like they come. Just over four and a half laps to go. Then for the rest of Russell Hall, Rossi will try and close here and try to use that advantage when he comes to that vital fourth sector. Marquez leads away. He's been there for the last four laps. Race winner here last year in very different conditions and a very, very different race. Through Stickerbot, that was his opponent on the bottom corner. The left hand of Rossi closes up once again on the break. But well, like Marquez, we said he's going to have one go. Without a doubt, I'm sure Ross is going to have one go. Six would tell him he's in front of Lorenzo. That's what matters in the championship. He wants to beat Mark Marquez in a straight head-to-head. -head. They're the first straight head-to-head -head for a win this season. With Valentino Rossi closes right up on Marquez again now into the Ramshot corner. Fourth gear, almost 190 points. Now 
But he lined him up, didn't he? Three laps to go. Mark Marquez leading from Valentino Rossi. It's been one of the great battles between the two of them since Marquez came to the Premier Class in 2013. Jorge Lorenzo over the line in a very lonely third place. It's all about these two men, though. Marquez and Rossi. Alex Margaro now has got to the front of the screen. Crossroads has dropped back two places. Well, there was a mistake on that lap by Cal Pitcher, but he's back in seventh place. Rossi right on the back of the game of Mark Marquez. Back to the pit stack they come. Three, but two and a half laps to go. Rossi is close to the It's just a little wobble from the front end of the Yamaha. But they're safely through the rest going on down towards Steckenbach. Marquez with all his great riding under intense pressure trying to drag himself out of the dungeons. Back to back flashes in the jungle. Barcelona have really put a massive hole in his pit to win a third straight. Well, here comes the inside. Valentino Rossi has got the inside. Marquez has taken the thing back. Marquez responds immediately. This is a battalion. Rossi still on the lead. The crowd going wild here in Asen. 97,000 people are on their feet. MotoGP at its very best. The 36-year-old Italian leads the way again, but don't think that is love. Gennaro being lined up on my market. Rossi breaks as late as he can. Everybody in the grandstand opposite us is on their feet. Two laps to go. Rossi leads the way. Two laps to go. It's Valentino Rossi by almost three tenths of a second from my market. Rossi trying to win for the third time. He's already putting a bit of a gap between himself and Mark Marquez. Has Rossi got his tactics absolutely back on? This is down into the, the ball left hander. Rossi got really close to Marquez now. And on the break, he's out to Mandarin. Up the inside goes Valentino Rossi. Marquez tries to fight back. That's what the crowd here thought. 97,000 fans. And Rossi is what half a second now between himself and Mark Marquez. Valentino Rossi. For an eighth victory here in Assen. Rossi threw the beans like down towards the Ruskinov, now down towards Steckenbach. This is where he was lining up Marquez and they came in the whole corner. Marquez got back, he actually got back in front, I think. But Rossi just rode round the outside of it and would not give away. One and a half laps to go. Absolutely classic racing at this legendary venue. This is a great racing here in the last 25 years. This is as good as any of them. But you know, I reckon Rossi might have broken Marquez. Here's the old monster calling the tune yet again. Valentino Rossi. Alex Diandis has crashed out further down the field. Here is Rossi. Clear daylight between himself and Mark Marquez. We're coming down into the final chicane on the penultimate lap. You can hear the crowd going absolutely wild in the background. Rossi about to start the final lap. The gap between Rossi and Marquez as they cross the line. Almost half a second. Rossi just did his personal best lap off the race. He's got the hammer down here in Holland. What a ride by Valentino Rossi. Jorge Lorenzo will pick up those 16 points in third place. But he won't make the headlines this time round. Classic duel at the front. And Rossi is getting away. 36 years old. Nine times world champion. Chasing his ninth victory here at Assen. You've never seen him ride better than he's ridden this afternoon. This has got to be the first time that Valentino Rossi's really got the better of Mark Marquez in a straight shootout for the win. Marquez, he's not giving up without a fight though. We know he's a real warrior. Is the Repsol Honda rider. He's closed the gap right up now on Valentino Rossi's back down to just under three tenths of a second. Down into the ball. Marquez, really, really close now. Rossi under really on pressure. This is going to be all about the final chicane. Just when we thought it was over, he's not a double and what a GP World Championship for, champion for nothing. Marquez now closing up on Rossi. Rossi is particularly though so quick through these corners, up through the high hole to this vital rum shot left hander. Rossi still leads away. Has Marquez got anything left? He is in the coming late as they come into the Chicago. There'll be a launch, there'll be a launch. 